Hey, about two years ago, I tested the horribly slow CPU and graphics card combo. Let's pay another visit. This is an Intel Celeron G440, a single core processor that's the slowest in its generation. Running at a blazing 1.6 GHz, it puts out a toasty 35 watts TDP and was released in 2011. It's still going strong despite missing capacitors at the bottom. Even then you could fetch one for pennies. Our graphics card is an Nvidia GeForce 210 with its 16 shaders running at 520 megahertz, drawing up to 31 watts, it's a super slow and low powered way to getting an HDMI port. In fact, we have the Zotac 1 gigabyte version, as the previous one was such a disappointment, it stopped working altogether. This costs 13 pounds due to current shortages. The rest of our system is fairly straightforward, an Asus H61 motherboard, 8GB of Corsair Vengeance, a Kingston SSD, and a 300W PSU. So we have everything set up now. Our test bench is here. And peeking behind it is my main computer, which will provide the test bench internet via the Ethernet cable there, as well as screen recording via this uh, capture card. So it's jammy, but at least it works. So we're going to run a couple of games and benchmarks, but unlike last time, we are not going to run uh, user benchmark, uh, let's say I don't trust its results anymore. And so we're going to run Unigen and 3D Mark instead. Uh, we already know what the results are, but at least we can gauge it amongst uh, other systems. Let's start with the OG GTA San Andreas. And right now we're running at 1080p, but we need to tone it down to 720 there. And here are the settings. And let's get going. That did not happen. <laughs> so right now we're running at 40-ish FPS average, which is still above the 30 FPS, which this game would normally be locked on. And let's go. God, this game takes me back. So the GT210 that we're running right now is a fanless model. Hence the temperature in it is pretty toasty. Driver power state failure. Okay. But anyways, the GT210 that we were running before, uh, it's a fanless model, hence the temperature is toasty at 67 degrees, and yet it's running at a slower clock speed than the GT210 that we had before, which had a fan in it. So, uh, that's what I was about to say before, uh, you know. Lots of heavy particles. We're dipping below 30 FPS. Oh, that's super heavy. Nope. Our G440 is definitely overwhelmed. Time to go! <laughs> So let's summarize that, 35 FPS average, 1 and 0.1% lows of 0 due to the heavy stuttering of our single core processor. 
I suppose if we double the cores, we'll have a much better experience. Next, we'll try a League of Legends. Hopefully, this works fine. Dude! Great. A full memory dump. Uh, yeah, go ahead. Oh, we're in. Okay, cool beans, cool beans. Alright, let's go mid. It's actually running okay. Oof! Well, alright, how do we set the thing up? Is it this? Yes, thank you. It's getting a bit laggy now. Let's get this, I guess. Uh-oh. What's happening? Okay. There goes our lows. <laughs> I didn't even know what happened. <laughs> good stuff, good stuff. too bad. Victory. Well, there's our results. 20 FPS. It does get pretty stuttery. Not stuttery, quite laggy at heavier scenes, so uh, I'd say it's playable. Next, we'll give Minecraft Bedrock Edition a go. Okay. Right now, 25 FPS. Let's see what we can do with the settings. <laughs> oh my god, that feels much better. Let's full screen this. Look at that! That's great. I'm surprised that it's running okay this time, because previously we had uh, heavy and repetitive stuttering due to our CPU. Uh, but this time our G440 is running okay, um, it's handling it pretty well. And yes, you can still see stuttering, but it's not too bad, I think. Come on. Here we go. Fancy a drink, anyone? Alright, let's summarize that. So, you know, frame rate is alright, you know, especially at 1080p, but again, bound by the CPU. Stuttering. And, uh, yeah. Same old, same old. Finally, let's do some benchmarking. Starting with Cinebench R15. It stopped. Is it okay? I probably shouldn't touch anything. <laughs> He's actually going that slow. You got this, Chief. Alright, just had a look at the recording time. 16 minutes. <laughs> it's even less than 100. It's half of that. God, that is so... Uh... That's pretty unexpected. That is so bad. Next, we'll test Unigen Heaven. Uh, extreme preset. 3 FPS. <laughs> no, 2. My god. Here's our score, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> 36 points, absolutely lovely, highest 2 frames a second. So finally we'll run 3D Mark, won't be able to run Time Spy, um, Five Strike maybe, 
Definitely not Night Raid. Um, <laughs> your PC is unable to run this test. At least we can run Cloudgate. Can we? We can. Mm, that pretty much explains everything. <laughs> Looking okay? Just for one second at the beginning. Hey god. 998 points. Is anyone surprised? Hey, welcome back. I know that it's completely worthless, but let's try to improve on the GT210. Look at that beast! Luckily we have this spare heatsink from a dead graphics card. So we finally upgraded our CPU to a Pentium G860, meaning double the cores at 2 and almost double the speed at 3 GHz. In addition, the G440, or the Celeron, uh, was running our memory at 1066 MHz, uh, but with this one we're now running at 1333, so that's a plus. In addition, with the, um, with the case fan, on our new heatsink, we're now running our GT210 at a much cozier temperature at 29 degrees. So hopefully there's overclocking headroom. Already browsing on this is much speedier. Oh my lord. Alright, so we're gonna run Unigen Heaven on a loop here. This is the basic preset. We're gonna run at stock speeds first before we try and find the highest stable overclock. I'm gonna say around 4 to 3 FPS. So let's increase it to um, 5, 8, 9, I think. Oh, I see it has a gain of around 2 FPS. like 6-ish FPS so we've gained like 2 to 3 FPS from this I think this is as fast as it's gonna go and our cooling solution is definitely overkill because it's still gorgeously cool all right I've just come back it's hovering around 10 FPS so it's uh it's still unplayable but it is pretty impressive I gotta play Minecraft on this I'm sure the stuttering would stop now this is a real biggie, the physics test. Uh, this will stress our CPU, so let's see what a 200% upgrade can do for us. That is better than 2 FPS as far as I can remember, so yeah, um, let's say 300% uh, increase in frame rates. Would you look at that? So, I'm predicting double the FPS. I'm, I'm impressed. I'm actually kind of happy with this after spending a couple of days looking at pure unadulted lag. Let's give Minecraft a go. Uh, sure. And... It's very nice. I don't know how else to describe it. Look at that. We could actually live with this. This is brilliant. Oh, 
the little one. How did we survive that? And finally, let's try GTA San Andreas. Uh, same old settings. That is buttery smooth. Oh, that's brilliant. Models. We make daily habits fun. This thing's fun to drift. <sighs> Not gonna lie. That is so heavy. Thirty FPS. I'm surprised that it's taken this up so well. And so that concludes our revisit of this slowest modern CPU and GPU combo. Let us know what you think of it. But otherwise, this is the budding engineer. Thanks for watching, and hope you have a great Christmas. See you soon.